Hi everybody, hello students and parents. Today's project is going to be how to make marbled paper. Mm. This is a really fun project for all ages. Um, the little ones really like it because it's like magical how you're able to transfer the spirally colors onto the paper. And it's really great for adults as well because you can use it to um, make cards or any sort of festive decoration or invitation. Um, we're all stuck at home right now, so I think making cards is a really great idea. This is one I did a little bit earlier that I put on cardstock, so it's nice and dry. So now I can just fold it over, and then I have a nice little card that I can send to someone that I haven't seen that I miss that's also stuck at home. I'm not gonna fold it just yet because I wanna be real precise about it. But So this is really fun, great for all ages, so let's begin. So to make marbled paper, you want to get set up with a messy surface or a surface that you can make a mess on. Um, a garbage bag works just fine or any kind of plastic or newspaper that you can put down. If you have plastic gloves lying around, that's great so you don't dye your fingers. I'm going to wear them today even though I haven't been because I've been doing prints for a while this morning and my fingers are turning all sorts of different colors. So if you have them, great, but not necessary. You want a couple different sizes or different types of paper, whatever you might have. Some food coloring, you can use just the regular food coloring that you find at the grocery store or if you have any kind of specialized coloring. I have some gel coloring left over from dyeing Easter eggs. And then if shaving cream, any kind will do. I bought this at the Dollar Tree store. Um, so this is the first print that I pulled off of the shaving cream die. I just wanted to show you that you can get multiple prints. This is the first one and you're gonna have the most detail with that one, of course, because that's gonna pull all the color off. Well, not all of the color, but the majority of the color and you get all the nice detail and spirals. And this is the cardstock I explained at the beginning. Um, but this is just printer paper, um, so it's a little bit thinner, but this was the second time that I put the paper down, so the second print still looks pretty interesting in my opinion. And then I believe this is sketchbook paper, very similar to the printer paper, just a little bit thicker. So this would be the third print. Still really cool marbled effect, obviously not as detailed as the first one, but I think you should use all the dye you have um, and get as many prints as you can because this project is so much fun for all ages. The little ones will really just be amazed by how it transfers over. And then for teenagers to adult, you can do a lot of really fun projects with this, whether it's scrapbooking or creating cards or creating your own drawings right on top. I actually recommend that for the little kids as well. So my four, almost five-year-old, sometimes I'll give him sort of the more spread out prints and then he can do little doodles or drawings over the top. And sometimes they really come out really quite good. We'll use Sharpie or something like that to darken the lines and I've even framed a couple that way. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you just wanna find anything around your kitchen that's kind of big and flat, just a plastic bin. A lot of you have the kind of tin looking ones for making cakes. And then you're just gonna to wanna to start spreading in your shaving cream. And I'm not gonna do the whole pan because I have kind of smaller size paper. Just kind of fill in the space. I think that's probably good. Pick a color. You can do five, six colors. You can do just two colors. It's really up to you. I think I'm going to start with, I really liked how the yellow was looking. So just going to drop in a little bit of yellow dye. Let's see, maybe I'll do a little bit of orange. Maybe do some more warm colors. And stick with the warm colors and do red. Oh, it's cutting out nice. I think warm colors is a good choice right now. Keep it cheerful. And then anything you have lying around that you can use to swirl. If you have toothpicks, great. I also grabbed a straw in case I wanted to do a little bit bigger of swirls. Start with the straw here. Go all the way across and down. to the side and go and use the toothpick. A lot of people just use a toothpick or a chopstick. Chopsticks are really good too if you have some of those. And then it's really up to you how you want to design it. If you want it to all 
be kind of symmetrical or if you want to do something specialized. I've seen people make hearts and stars and things like that. All right, I've got my first paper. This is actually watercolor paper, so this will be a different one. See how this prints. Okay, go ahead and just kind of press it down into the shaving cream. Make sure you get every corner nice and flat. This is where having the gloves on will come in handy. Go ahead and pull the corner off. Lay it down. And if you have a scraper laying around for when it's icy out, I have this leftover from when I used to live in the snow. These are really great to scrape the shaving cream off or just a piece of cardboard works really well too. I'm just gonna hold the paper with one finger and I'm gonna scrape off the shaving cream. And then I have my first print. Nice warm colored marbled effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side to dry. And then I'm gonna grab another piece of paper. Since I still have quite a bit of color, it's not gonna be as marbled, but it'll still be pretty cool. And see, and this is why the gloves come in handy because I'm pretty messy. Oh, and then you can see here, I didn't press hard enough. I didn't press hard enough, so I missed a couple of spots here. But I think it will still look kind of cool. So let's see how I did here. Yeah, it still turned out really nice. And now that I look at these two, this is just printer paper and this is watercolor paper. And you can see the printer paper really absorbed the red so much more. I think I like that. So watercolor paper might seem like a good idea because it's thicker, but it doesn't absorb as much. Let's do another one, see if we can get another print here. This time I'm gonna make sure to press it all the way down flat so I don't miss any spots. Really smush it in there. Always fun to get messy. For those of you that maybe don't have like surgical type gloves at home, um, kitchen like dishwasher gloves work just fine too. I've used those quite a few times. And then you can just wash them off. You might dye them a little bit, but that's okay. Then it'll be kind of artsy. And then you can just keep going as many prints as you can get off of your shaving cream. This one I think looks really nice. So it's kind of interesting when the third one might be your favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side to dry as well. And then I hope you enjoy this project. It is, yes, a little bit messy, but I think that's the most fun is when you get messy. Thanks for making with me.